Hello there, Internet. I am your host, J. Bay. Welcome back to Let's Play Master Detective Archives Rainco. Left off. We got up, found up, made some really terrible food for a chief, and, uh, well. And ended up going around like Kanai Ward or Kanasaki District. And hung out with the Mood Man. Oh, is. Hey, Emma. I have a favor to ask of you. Huh? Favor? What is it? Yeah. There's a book on it, read, but I haven't even found a copy. It's called The Crow and the Dove. Survival of the Fittest and, self and Ward Salvation. And World huh. Salvation. That's one hell of a title. Is it a light novel? Right. It's a tragic story of a crow battling a dove in order to justify its existence. To the end. The world, the two turn the world into a wasteland. Sure. Does it sound like a bit dull? Uh, uh, uh. I think so. I, I don't know. I don't read. I mean, obviously, I can't read. Uh, I just don't read books. Not even the Halo novels. You have to find the book. Hoping you're bringing it to me. Because As you see, I'm quite busy here. Uh, you sure don't like look like it. Hmm. Well, it's just client. Uh, I'll just take it easy and wait here. Yawn. Uh, His way of laziness is quite refreshing, Matt. Master. <sighs> All right. Is the detective's responsibility to All right. Yeah, that's what I was hearing about side quests. <laughs> Detective work? A hey, kid. Okay, space sec. It's probably some guy out here brought. brought Trying to push this weird book on me. I told him no. It was so pushy. I don't know if he has a quote or what, but he was real persistent and annoyed. Think about it. I really liked up Crow, something, something. Who reads this bullshit? It's um, weird. Uh, oh, about Jinnah District. You turn left the bar, you'll find him. Better stay away, though. He's really persistent. Oh, is he a, a Teletubby Mormon? Trying to sell you the Lord and Savior Skyrim? Okay, for context, Lord and Savior Skyrim, I found a VR chat model of uh, Todd Howard dressed like a Teletubby. It's a detective's responsibility to help those in need. Uh. Basically, I, would, I found a copy of Skyrim in one hand. And a shotgun in the other. Basically, I would go up in VR chat and go ask people if they want to talk about Lord Savior Skyrim. If they said yes, I'll tell. I welcome them to the call. They say no. I pull out the shotgun because it's based on that meme of uh, Todd Howard dressed like Poe from Teletubbies. Yeah, that new book today, isn't it? I have to pick it up afterwards. Now, books are ours. The old edition. I'll give both. All right, they told me to find a book over there. Excuse me. Hey, you look for that. Oh. All right, this sounds amazing. Oh yeah, I was just there earlier. Thank you very much. Would you like to talk about Skyrim? If they said no, I fought the shotgun shot. Unbeliever! It was quite the fun moment. 
You're there looking for brass open. Yeah. Huh? I did all kinds of bullets. Sales are slow, right? Aww. Hmm? Uh, books. I can think of it. this a real cult class huh? now i'm a cult classic man but uh a cult classic books shouldn't that be like a lot of literary nowadays uh Keep in mind, I don't read books. Uh. Yeah, again, I should probably bring up my definition of what a cult classic is. Yeah, this was good. I'll top here. I'll be move it. Then. Yeah. Uh, Thank you very much. Yes. Come on. That's true. So, uh, my division of a cult classic is a, something that doesn't sell well, but because of high, but gets popular through word of mouth or and high reviews. That's my definition of a cult classic. Uh, Paper Mario. I don't see that as a cult classic because I feel like the game sold decently enough. Is that Buddha? Uh, I just don't see Pierre Mario as a cult classic. Uh, World of View does because uh it didn't sell very well still doesn't Come on. <laughs> and it's one of the most beloved games on the ds and i still not shut the hell up about it sale price of life is strange i'm not just saying that because i remember i'm not i don't hate that franchise anymore I even bought True Colors on Switch. I mean, on Steam Deck. Yes, I will LP the game because, uh... Here. Hey. Hey there, uh, shopkeeper came by from the book. You're amazing. You're the one who sent him right things. Well? Hmm. Yeah, that's so that's nice. It means to play to Carl Flank. Right. More of all, if we feel like clothes, sort through the sky. No. Don't just jump off a building, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, I was considering it. Oh God, this guy is a living mood. Yeah. That's nice. Again, I'm not even gonna like look up artwork for these characters because I don't want the game spoiled. Uh Yeah, I don't want the game spoiled for me.
Yeah, I can't. and again, I don't, I don't read. I mean, Little Shop of Horrors is a cult film. Uh, so is Spaceballs, I guess, uh, and, uh... Hey, I mean, early Futurama? Tower case at Gima District? I heard it's the nail man again. Yeah, the culprit was already caught. There were a bunch of peacekeepers. It was a big deal. No way! The nail man was caught? What did he look like? The nail man? They mentioned a case. <laughs> a case already? The city is just as wonderful as the rumors say. It happened at the clock tower in a place called Gingma District. Let's go see. But we have to find Halara first. Denied. Maybe Halara. Oh God, they're dead. They're dead. They're dead. Yep. Until this world ends. With you. <laughs> I bet everyone's like, what the fuck is that kid doing? Yeah, it's really like fairly odd parents logic. Or uh Wild Thornberries. I don't remember that show. It was a co it was a survivor the classic. Wait a lot. Yeah, but then Hallie. <laughs> Hallie shows up. Yes, I pronounced it Haley in my in the LP, but Hallie, uh, oh yeah, lap. Yeah, I might even make like, a video about how I imagine like well, if uh, Shadow Hearts had like deep character animations. I guess this is like the. Oh my God, this looks like the UK. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's so I'm sure guys know that I have like a Scottish friend. Alright, so I actually asked if they uh We got here by just wandering around. So if anyone doesn't remember where you're going? It feels different from Kamasaki district. Yeah, it looks more British. That was more uh crowded Asia. But the area looks high class and luxurious. Not just the buildings, the people Yeah, apparently from I know uh so Elon Musk. From the pores we saw back there. So, from what I know, people, all the pores have deranged personalities. I asked him about being Scottish. It depends on the person. So where's the clock tower that incident happened at? I even taught them about the Second Amendment. We need to find Halara first. Listen, Master. As your mentor, I'll teach you something important. Detectives prioritize investigations above all else, more than your parents or nature's call itself. All right. Well, if I need to take I'll a peep. Guess I'll ask around first. <laughs> hey, sorry if that guy that looks. Uh, wow. uh, I don't trust anyone from that corporation. Uh, all right. Let's see what this lady. The art gallery's been closed ever since the hmm? incident. What kind of incident? I really don't know. I wonder why it's closed. Oh god, somebody tell me it's a mad artist who did this. Wow. Dinosaur fossils, so cool. You should extract the DNA and recreate it. Even if we could, we need to stop and ask if we should better or not. Dinosaurs are big. I'm a dinosaur! This is Isn't that Tyrannosaurus Rex? So cool. We should have they bring the Tyrannosaurus along for a boss fight. What are you talking about, shitty gummy? What kind? Of, something happened to my baby. Sure, I thought probably. Oh, mm -hmm. looks like people are there. Yeah. What are you doing? Can't ignore them. Uh, Excuse me, what's wrong? Our child suddenly vanished. Uh, That's us, kid. Oh, girl was spirited away. Da 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 da. Hmm? Spirited away. Oh, that's a interesting combination of words. Um, what does being being spirited away mean? A confession. I've never seen that movie. And I apologize. There has been a rumor going on through Kanasaki District that children are suddenly disappearing. 
even if we never let him out of our sight, they're gone insane. Spirit away. Not like a kid's spirit away, return. Maybe the London rats are trying to protect them from uh, a guy that shares the same first name as me. Yeah, for those that do not know, uh, if you haven't played Shadow Hearts, because I know there are some people who are more interested in other games than not me. Basically, what happens is that sh in Shadow Heart, in Shadow Hearts. There's like a group of British orphans called the London Rats. It's, there's a kid named Joshua. Let's see. Yeah, so I even gave him the game like Joshua from World Ends of You. And they're led by a kid named Holly. Um. Who I just gave the most difficult. Give it a quickly British accent, love. Hey. Wait. Hey, the Terror Terror bo Bozu looks miserable. Probably not fun being hanged around the neck, huh? Uh, hey. Cut it out, I don't want to be cursed. I mean, it's Terror Terror, so, uh. Damn, he fell under harder times after everyone realized after he finally got sued for sexual harassment. Basically, they're trying to hide from a crazy scientist who owns like an orphanage and he's like they using kids as experiment to sign. I got this new Amaterasu Corporation tech before. What's with the blank look? Don't you understand the value of this drone brella? Now that I've had a look at I am not a techie, but even I think that's not a good idea. As you can see, we sell You're better off at <laughs> Kamasaki District. Uh, I think God I invested in all that cryptocurrency and NFTs. And then the crypto market crashes for the third time in a row. Hey, it's weird. This is like some kind of lab or something. Maybe it could be artificial. Maybe it's a tick, like a tanning bed. I'm not sure which follow. But yeah, as I said, there's a. Um, hey, do you know where there's clock tower nearby? Tower? Just go straight down this path. You can't miss it. But there's been an incident there, so you should. Thank you. But yeah, they're British frats run by a kid named Halley. I pronounced it Haley because I didn't know how to pronounce it, and the Japanese version it's actually spelled oh. Harry. I'm guessing Halley was like a mistranslation. I get it. Mike, or maybe it's a bit of a stretch, but I think it's because he's a British kid with named Harry, a British orphan. Okay, not in actuality. He does reunite with his mom. Spoilers, because. Well, you'll see that Haley and finds his mother and has magic powers. And since it was 2001, Harry Potter was coming out. So I think they may have also done it for copyright to not get sued. And then we get hit by a truck. I shouldn't go there because something bad happened. She said if I don't listen to her, the nail man will get me. Where did she say to her? The clock tower down this path. Let's see what's up here. Yeah, a funny story. So, I, my original plan was to. Plus the red rain. I wanted to do a let's play of Shadow Hearts Covenants. But uh, since I reached 100 subscribers recently, I thought. Uh, Oh, wait. I know we wanted to check this church for a wedding, but can we really afford it? Any place is fine, as long as we have a ceremony. I don't care where it is or who I'm marrying. Are you a hooker?
so yeah, I said I give Haley this like typical British accent because I thought it sounded funny. The love? Yeah, I actually gave that accent to Zell from Final Fantasy VIII because uh, the, I mean I saw Zell do those flips and shit. I felt like <gasps> I love you. And I even get, let my co. I did that because my friend. I hadn't finished the game, but my friend at work said that was his favorite Final Fantasy game, and I thought, why not play it because of him? Uh, and he. And I even let him decide which character should be Canadian. It was the sniper guy. I haven't played Final Fantasy VIII in ages, but uh, I can't. I only remember Zell, Squall, uh, Selfie, Cipher. Uh, Irvine. Yeah, Irvine. I gave Irvine the Canadian accent. I do it. And the evil witch lady, I just made the admin from TF2. I can smell the mystery coming out of it. But yeah, Irvine, I made him British. I mean, Irvine made him Canadian, although my friend at work was expecting the Canadian accent to sound like. Uh, Uh, sound like Gambit from the X-Men cartoon because I think a lot of the actors from that show were from Canada but now upon listening to the voice I think a tie unironically imagined Irvine having a canon voice I'm sure Yeah, but something happened. The peacekeepers ran us off. Bored. Look at all those rubber neckers. Rubber? What is that? A racial slur? Hey, I heard the nail man got caught. What? The ser serial killer. So, what's this nail man got? He's not called nail man because he's covered in them, idiot. Didn't you hear about the nails all nails all over the crime scene? So it was another Well, uh, did he buy them or did he make them? <sighs> he made them himself. Just Jack, you dumbass. Yeah, that's what I heard. <sighs> I'm hearing lots of exciting phrases. I just might start drooling. I'm having an orgasm. We can't. It's already sealed off by the piece. I can't wait. Hey. They're all pyromanes. Oh, um, who are you? Um, did the place is off limits to out? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Why are you so quick to back down? Oh, so pathetic. I know, but take mm -hmm. it around. There's no way. Don't turn the push through the pieces. Mm -hmm. I don't want these things to Guy, I love Pyro. Has already been caught. There's no point in. And you call yourself a detective? It's a locked room mystery. No, I shouldn't. Besides, I'm not even a pro. Master, <laughs> don't tell. It's more like I just don't get it. I mean, will I without them? I don't know how to. F Master, what's important? In I mean, you're the reason this happened to me in the first place. Well, if you're so. What do you mean? Aim to become a detective is a trait. If you aim for the same destination, all which means that one day you should understand how your past self. I get the feeling you're just saying that, so I'll do what you want me to. Besides, how am I supposed to try to become. Through investigating cases. So, let's go about that clock tower. Yeah. Just trying to make yeah, I got a weird feeling I'm gonna make clock tower references. For now, I'll have maybe this kid. That's the spirit. Of 
Clock tower. All right, religion. Oh, metal fox. So, uh, gray fox started a cult. Pardon me, but it seems like something happened at the clock. Oh yeah, I saw the peacekeepers. T huh? You s they apprehended a man wandering around the clock town. Among them was a hammer. After all, they say the nail man all he was wandering around. It's like you say a mailman. Sure it's like I said a mail man and not nail man. Um, there seems to oh my. It's that man again, right? It's going to be like another poor character that we thought. In any case, I'm glad I heard. And another thing tells me that uh I'm so relieved. By the way, who are you? Oh, so Yeah, something tells me that the non-binary per that non-binary Chucky's going to die. I think mean, we haven't seen them. And I feel like maybe they're trying to do that to uh, Really? That's big news. So who is what? You don't know? He's the mysterious nail man. Con I ward urban legend? Hmm? Have you ever felt the urge to kill someone? The nail man can make that wish. All you need to do is write down the name of someone you wish dead. Someone you hate so much you could kill. Then make a doll resembling that person, nail the name tag to it, and leave it at the forest behind the church. This summons the nail man, who will kill that person for you. Or so the legend goes. Whoever is killed by the nail man, pinned by countless nails. <sighs> but that's but you're a ghost! It was until six months ago. Well, Urbanos might be note taking notes. For the past six months, yes, I funded that Kickstarter. You guys can thank me later. Also, they already said they're inspired by Twilly, and I want Twilly to be the next Earthbound. People were in an uproar talking about how the Nail Man is real. Now, but can we get much higher? What kind of person would want to copy the Nail Man? He must have a screw loose or something. A killer from an urban. Look, Master, all the hairs on my. But you don't have any hair. I guess that's what the info you can expect. Still, I think I get the... These nail man cases are based off an urban legend. They, a similar case happened at the clock tower today. That's about it. Okay, uh, non-binary Chiaki is either going to be the victim or the suspect. What about those cases? They all happened in... I haven't seen any locked room mysteries. And again, these are all recorded, pre-recorded ahead of time. So if I, I anyone is watching... If anyone is watching, uh, you're the best detective, the president of our company. <sighs> we shall make Can I Ward amazing again. So as I said, oh yeah, right about Shadow Heart. So uh, the doctor, the the scientist guy that was like kidnapping all these kids, was named Doctor Jack, and I was like, I'm Jack. And this is like the first time I've ever seen a character with the same first name as me. Hey, that's not where you should be going right now. Like, no, be not only like as not a hero, but uh, but. Uh, the villain because most jacks are usually like either like good guys or uh and the one villainous jack i did know prior to shadow hearts 
handsome Jack was more of a funny villain than a than an actual threatening villain. This Jack? No, he was a horrible person. Like some creep thing about his mom. And okay, there's a kid, and I saw. A Excuse me. What the? Are you okay? Come on, let's go. Hey, wait! Uh, uh, what do I do? You jumped in here without a plan? I couldn't help it. What do you think? You're under arrest by the peacekeepers. If you resist, enforce. Listen, you have no right to. Wait, please listen to me. And then Nick shows up. Phoenix Wright shows up. He's like, did someone say lawyer? Put both hands on your head and get down. Ah, oh, damn it! I can't do anything this time. And non-binary Chiaki in three, two, one. Uh, no. A coin. Rules of nature. <laughs> yeah, I'm calling them non-binary Chiaki. How's right? They are alive. Th th thank you, Alara. A reckless sense of justice isn't even worth a single coin. This could have cost your life. Remember that. Right. Yeah, I'm starting to hear a more masculine voice out of that voice. That's yeah, like I said, I think they did that to uh, like you, try and calm the people who are about Chihiro. A character that I still don't see as trans. Dad needs help. Chatero, is that you? Please. No, I you're not my son. Oh, so his dad was the guy that took him. Huh? To get your dad back? What do you mean? My dad was arrested by peacekeepers for what happened at the clock tower. They say he's the culprit. Wait, that's your dad? But he was here to repair the clock tower. He has nothing to do with what happened. So, your dad is innocent, but he's being framed as the mailman? My dad would never murder anyone. He has no reason to. So please, please, get my dad back from them. So you want us to prove your father's innocence? Is that an assignment? Assignment? Y yes. I figured you could do it. How much do you have ready? Huh? Y you mean? I don't work for cheap. I will fulfill a job no matter what it takes. However, if you want my help, I don't have any money. Well, I could, my dad and I played catch together all the time. Hmm. I think we could always pawn it. Probably not. Uh, hey, out of the question. Or just give it back to the chaotic oh, good. Is wait. You're not why should I? The only way to decipher someone's mind, if they cannot offer a fitting amount of money to prove to me, they might. Big talk for someone who's all a kind of demon would try to take money from a little kid. I'm a duck got though, so I sure ain't one to talk. Oh, did he not offer? The ball itself may not be worth much. If you think so, then you should take on the job. Uh-huh. Me? Or perhaps you're going to make the assignment on that boy's behalf. Uh, how much do you... Hmm. Preliminary estimates mark it at around... Shin? Is that current? It's enough to purchase a luxury car. A luxury car? By the way, even though I'm amazing, I can't create human money out of thin air. Yeah, it's against the rules. The rule? Sorry, sorry, Rocky. Hmm. I'll be at the cafe nearby. Oh God. Come see me once. I can't remember. Yeah, now I kind of think about this. You will need that dark inf enjoy. this inferred holocaust. And when you do. So an inferred holocaust is a. Uh, Name. 
is a term basically where a where it's so your mileage may vary. So it's a trope based more on opinions than anything. It's a trope based on. Uh, well, I have to do this myself. Yeah, audiences pick up on consequences of the scenes of destruction and death while the work doesn't address it. Yeah, I can't can't remember this episode, but there was like an episode of Fairly Odd Parents. It was like I think it was one of the later ones, like prior to when Sparky was added to the show for five for like a couple of episodes before he was written out of the show entirely. And that, uh, yeah, I stopped watching Fairly, and I think I was like around I started stopped watching TV in general because when uh, Chloe was added to the cast, I didn't watch any of those episodes of her. Thank God, because I think around that time I only cared about Power Rangers. Gone. Now is our hey, wait. Before... So, uh, yeah, I, I can't remember what this episode's called, but Jorgen was, uh, a re Jorgen was like sick or something, and uh, Cosmo was technically a relative of him. He was in charge of, fair, of enforcing the law. Timmy suggested to give everyone like a wish free day. Uh, and well. Wow, it's the clock tower murder of just as I thought. Fire. All right, cause a third thing's urge. Fe them female. Time I didn't even know. It's bad time death. The body was found around 7 a.m. So it's only been an hour since the. No wonder things are so hectic. Another body. Anyway, master, there's. First. So on seeing clergy member and several peace keepers. There was a poor suspicious person behind the church. The victim was discovered in the incident. The murder was suspected of the, being related to the nail man killings. A suspicious person behind the church. All you need to do is write down the name of someone you wish dead. Someone you hate so much you could kill. Then make a doll resembling that person, nail the name tag to it, and leave it at the forest behind the church. This summons the nail man, who will kill that person for you. What? That's where the forest to summon the nail man is located. They pursued someone they... Note, the nail was locked to the door of the scene of crime. Only the window is shattered and locked the time. There are no other entrances. It seems to be a completely locked room. This matches the nail man's modem opera. D. so excited does the nail man turn his crime scene a phantom who vanishes like smoke suspect ever had an individual near the clock tower it was found in multiple hammers believed to be cut used to see the crime name jelly colon age 48 occupation unknown the specific claims to be repairing the clock no witness or alibis so it's like Some dude and assumed he's you gotta search the crime scene yourself to find the truth. Yeah, maybe you're right. So it's like took you long enough to now let's go. The scene of the crime. Yeah, let's hurry. You should go hide someplace safe. Alright. Now off to the clock tower we go. Yeah, chaotic good. I'm having Castlevania flashbacks right now. Uh, 
Well, I think now, I mean, I'm five minutes off with my time limit, but uh, now I uh, show the episode right here. Let's subscribe all this fancy stuff. See ya.